What's going on guys, Tosker here and in this video we are going to talk about using Windows resources to define styles in your window, in a window of your WPF application. But before I get started I do want to mention uh, my school semester just started so my output of videos may not be as rapid as it once was but I do want to try and stay on top of it because I actually enjoy making these but I just want to throw that forewarning out there. Anyways, so now to get started, we're going to talk about, like I said, doing Windows resources to define styles to be reused in our window. Now the resources essentially is an object that holds certain style information or templates that we can then later use in the XAML of our window or user control or page. So, we can first do a window dot resources tag inside of our first window here and then this is essentially where we will predefine it's almost like a dictionary which we'll actually talk about a little later so it's like a dictionary of styles or templates and what we're first going to do is I'm going to show you how to create base styles extended styles and uh, key specific styles so first thing is we're going to create a base style so I'll do a little comment here we'll say uh, and we'll do it with buttons so we'll say base button style and what a base style is going to be is essentially anything that is a button will and is in our window will by default um, have this specific style and we'll begin a style with a opening style tag. Now we need to define a target type and the target type is uh, essentially a control that this style is going to be targeted to and in our case it will be a button. And then we'll have opening and closing tags of that. Let me fix the window here. So now inside this style is where we're going to set properties and we set properties using the setter tag and we use the property property in the setter tag and this is where we can access things like the background, the foreground, or uh, pretty much anything when you go over to the properties window of a control you can access here. So we'll say we are setting the property background and we will call the value property and we can set that to a brush color because background can accept a brush. So we have that and we can mimic what we just did here and also set the foreground and we can set that value to eh, let's say white but what we're going to do now is create a little stack panel because we don't want uh, everything filling up in the grid here and we're going to simply create a button so as normal we'll do button and we'll call it base button and now you'll notice right off the bat our base button is actually going to inherit this style that we created for it and we didn't have to define it within the tags of the button or set any properties of the button it's just naturally because it is within the window it is going to inherit from this style now what we can also do is we can do something called a, 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 I'll call a special button style and this is where we'll create a specific style do a tag here special button style and this is where we're going to do a specific style that we can then reference in a buttons tag unlike we have here we can reference it to a key and it'll know to use this specific tile for that specific button so like above we'll open with a style we must still use the target type which is button and in this case, if you remember when we name our controls, uh, we can give it a key. And in this case, we'll call it special style. So whenever we want to use this, this is the key phrase we will use. And like above, and actually I'll just copy. Let's copy paste here because these videos do get a little long. So now we have our background and our foreground. And in this case, we're going to invert so we'll have a white background with a black foreground, a black, not back, with a black foreground. 
So if we go down here to our stack panel, we can create a button and we'll call it a eh, special button. And off the bat, as you may suspect, it's going to be the base style. And we'll define a specific style here by accessing the style property in our button. And we will do the curly braces and static resource. And this is where it'll obtain the resources uh, in our window. And we'll see here we have special style, which we gave a key to. Notice now we don't see our base, and that's because, of course, we didn't give it a key. So we'll say static resource, special style. And you'll see it immediately change up here in the designer. And if it doesn't, sometimes you have to just rebuild the project, or sometimes even it's stubborn enough to where I have to close the main window and reopen it and let it refresh a bit. But usually rebuilding should be okay. And so now we have our special style button here. Let me, yeah, I'll stay zoomed in and I'll just uh, break this down a bit. So there's our base button and our special button. So moving forward, now we can also, if we wanted to create another style, but we wanted it to be the same as our base style and wanted to just maybe add in a few other properties maybe some buttons will have. We don't actually have to create a new style and um, copy uh, and duplicate pretty much what we did up here. We can actually base off of our uh, another style. So that's where we'll go to our style and we'll do obviously target type button and this is where we will use something called based on. It's the based on property and we'll access the static resource. And then we'll have to do our curly braces again because now we're going to go to our X namespace and we're going to get to the type. And the type is where we will obviously define the type uh, it is, which is a button. And then we can give it a key and we'll call it extended base style. I should probably fix the caps there. So I will. And then we will go down here. So now we are basing this off of our target type button. And normally we could do static resource and do special style. But since our base style doesn't have a key, we can actually just reference it to type button, which will just get the base button of our window. And then inside of this, we can create a new setter tag, and we'll say property. And we'll say we can increase the font size, and we'll give it a value of, let's say, 24. So now we have an extended base style. And if we go down here and we create a new button and we can give it a style and do static resource, we can see our extended base style. And then we'll say extended base style. And now you'll notice uh, in our extended base style, we didn't define the background or the foreground, but because we used based on and did X type button, it's going to get the base button of our resources. Now we can also do this for our special button and doing this does not require us to have X type. So now we will do a comment, extended special style. And we will create again a style target type button we'll do based on and now instead of using type we'll do static resource special style and we obviously will need to give it a key and we'll call it extended special what do we name it yeah style and we'll have our opening and closing tags and then like we did above we can access the setter tag and we'll do property and we'll change the font size again and I'll make this one maybe a little extra big. So now we have an extended special style and like we did over here we can do button, 
style. Static resource. Extended special style. And we'll give it a name of extended special style. And you'll see just like our extended base, it will inherit from whatever we have it based on. So it'll uh, get those properties from our style above as well as in addition to our new properties that we set here. And we're going to pretty much regurgitate everything we learned here as we move forward to using application resources or creating resource dictionaries. But so all this is really specific. The only thing uh, more specific about this video is the fact that we're using a window resources which is inside of our window. So if you're using a user control, you would maybe do user control resources, or if you're using a page, you would do page resources and so forth. I, I think you might get the idea. So that's it really for this video. Um, leave comments if you have any questions. I'm going to be doing more on style. So if you feel like I, I didn't really, if you click this video and feel like I didn't cover exactly what you wanted to see, keep looking because I'm going to break this up into multiple parts. With that being said, uh, I hope you enjoyed. Uh, I hope I didn't forget anything. Like I said, I'm in school now, so I'm, I don't want to like rush through these videos, but I also want to keep putting some out there. So, yeah. So, I'll pretty much, those are my excuses. So, I hope you enjoyed the video again. Like, subscribe, comment, or don't. You know, if you didn't like it, then I don't know why you're still listening to me blather on. But, yeah. So, see you guys.